as, as rad as you think you are right now, here's a, a photo of me giving you a Roman helmet, dude. You were helpless. You were fucking baby. And I put my dick and balls on your face and there's nothing you could do about it. I brought you into this world. I can do whatever I, I want. Yeah, Bob, you need to start taking humiliating pictures. Well, yeah, I just lie. I'll just be like, like if he says shit in front of his friends, I'll be like, you know, that's rich coming from the guy who had like 30 unicorn toys when he was yeah, 10. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'll just, and I'll, yeah. I'll just, or the helmet. Yeah. The helmet. You're, you're always going to have the helmet on him no matter what. Like you will be able to show those pictures forever and be like, hey, fuck you. I shaped your whole head. I, I don't think they're taking a lot of pictures of the. No, head. yeah. Bob's, Bob's got it on his Instagram. I follow Bob. Oh, yeah, 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 of his helmet or whatever. I'll yeah. be like, man, you were born with the dumbest head. I mean, like, you guys yeah. should have seen his head before we got that helmet. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Tiger Watch, what do we got, Delco? Where's he at? Minus one still? Still minus one. All right. The leader right now is a minus two. You got Harry Higgs. You got your boy Gooch. Gooch. Minus two. That's not going to hold up. Mm, the Gooch is loose, dude. Uh, Schwartzel's at minus one. Uh, yeah. Adam Scott was at minus one, but he just missed a putt, so he's going to drop back to even. And then uh, Joaquin Neiman's right there. It's, it's really early. Most of the big names are going off later in the afternoon. It's all fun and flirty. We're having a good time today. The Masters is going on. Drink up. I'm going to be drinking on the next show. Let's go. Let's go. Big day today. Chop on. Yeah. Braves are back. Yeah. Damn it, I'm back. Except for I got the worst phone call ever last night. Ever. I... I I hope there's a miracle that turns this around. Um, I get a call from a very close friend, source, whatever you want to call it, that Baker Mayfield is going to be the next quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons. Um, oh, that laugh. Oh, that, this, gonna, this evil fucking laugh from Sean, upstairs. That's going to send him over the edge. So let me. You guys can't hear oof, it at home. Oof, let me. But cowboy loving Sean just laughed like. <laughs> How does it feel that Sean thinks he's better than you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Sean, if this goes <laughs> down. Tower, Sean. If this goes down, uh, you will be better than me. And there's nothing I can do about it. I, um, I, I couldn't think of anything worse. To put it in perspective, because people are asking how, how much I know about this. The last time I got a call from this guy. And it's rare. Last time I got a call from him, he told me that Sean Payton is a week in advance, and we said it on Drink and Bro Sports, that Sean Payton was quitting uh, as coach of the Saints and going into the booth, right? And a week in advance, and everybody was like, what the fuck? No, and same guy. And I'm like, oh, no. And he goes, I, he called me. I can't say where. It was in Atlanta. That's all I'll say. He called me from Atlanta in a, in a, in a stadium. Um, anyways, so... Barring some last minute fucking miracle, the Falcons are going to trade a goddamn draft pick for Baker Mayfield. And I don't know that I want to continue living anymore. Really? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Do you know how bad this is going to suck for me? I've shit on Baker Mayfield for years and years and years, day after day after day, years and years and years, over and over and over and over again. Sure. Okay. Um, and now he's going to play for my team and be the quarterback. I might never watch a game, Falcons-wise, ever again. Homer can too, since Ross, you could just deport Sean if you want. That's uh, true. Back to May. I, you, know what, you know what Governor <laughs> Abbott's doing? You know what wheelchair yes, is doing I in this do. state? I watched that last I night. Do. I was like, this is the greatest thing of all time. Is this real? So he's going to send illegal immigrants in buses from here to Washington, D.C. And he's like, great, well, if, you, if you don't want to stop the problem— We'll just drop them off at the White House. You guys can figure it the fuck out. So they were saying that, or White House was like, just take them to San Antonio, right? So what he's nope. saying is like, I'm just going to keep driving, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so he signed this. It looked like some bill or something. It looked official last night. It did. And uh, if that goes down, it would be the greatest thing of all time. Oh, fuck. Dude, this will lead into what I just, I, you know what? Let's, do, let's have a day today. Let's have a day here. Okay? Okay. Let's make a fucking full day of this today. We're oh. going to get in some real fucking talk today. Oh. Grab, grab me a seltzer, Nick. Grab me a seltzer. Either. Let's go Peach. It's the, the Masters is on. That's Peach for Georgia. That's where I'm from. Where I was raised as a little boy. I used to skin my knees. Georgia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> I wish I had sunglasses. Mm. So, drop the child off at school, right? Thank you, Nicholas. I appreciate it. St. Nicholas. I should call you because you're Irish. You're half Irish, too, you know? <laughs> Let's throw a little St. Nicholas in there. That's as Catholic as it gets. It's goddamn right it is. 
Go, go watch that new Mark Wahlberg movie. It's for the Catholics. It just came out. Father Stu. We'll talk about that after this. Dead serious. Um, so <laughs> I dropped the kid off at school. You and I are looking for uh, another house for an extra bedroom for the, for the new child, sure. the newborn queen. Hey, queen. Hey, queen. Um, and Which we're naming Hope. Solo. Hope Solo Patterson. Patterson, yeah. <laughs> Be so good. Just for content. Just put a little. Well, it is. I mean, the only reason we decided to go gloves through on with this is for premium content. Sure, So sure. we're going to have to really. Uh, okay, go ahead. Stay focused. S- I, no, I'm focused today. We're good. Okay, what? I'm in it today. We're having a fucking awesome show today. What happened? You're looking for the other house. The one I looked at this morning that popped up, right? Yeah. It's right next to our child's school. Drove by it. Drove by it, and I'm like, man, driving past all nice houses, super amped, and I'm like, oh, dude, this is going to be rad, you know? Get, get a little closer, and I see a giant blue flag uh, hanging off, off, off this thing, and I'm like, all right, man, that looks like, a, looks like a L.A. Dodgers flag. Massive, massive Dodgers flag, okay? Okay, okay. You're from California. Great. That's sure. fine. As That's I drive fine. a little closer, mm-hmm. there's a huge sign in the yard. I'm thinking, oh, maybe it's a birthday party or something for the thing. Vote for Beto. Vote for <laughs> Beto in huge giant letters. That is the house next door to that house. You can already cross that off my list. I don't say you hate the neighbors without saying you hate the neighbors. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Wait, we're supposed to go see the house tomorrow. Yeah, and we'll go through You're with canceling? it. It's not, the fucking realtor doesn't watch the show. Who cares? I'm not canceling it. I'll go. We'll go. Because I like the neighborhood. A, a, a Beto? Oh, and an L.A. Dodgers flag. So it would have been fine if it was just one or the other. But it, the fact that it screams, I'm from California, and then vote for Beto means you just moved here from California because it fucking sucked. And the politics suck, and all the policies suck, and you've turned the most beautiful state in the entire country into a shithole for no reasons other than you fucking suck at politics, right? Right. Now you want to come here to this beautiful state in this beautiful neighborhood, plant a flag and a fucking Beto sign. Well, I actually- you see the fucking pull up that goofy ass photo of Beto. Uh, what, what, what was he doing? And his teeth were all fucking yellow and he's got huge teeth, real toothy, that son of a bitch. And he's just, well, I didn't really support trans kids. I think it was, I went before you cause I left the house before you. I planted those signs cause I actually <laughs> didn't like the house that we were going to look at. It was really stressing me out. So I was like, how do I get it? So Ross will like immediately not like this house. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you definitely won then. You definitely Are you okay? won. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, let's see. Is you left someone? like 10 minutes before yeah, me. I know. I just popped over really quick, grabbed him. I was like, what can I get? Oh, uh, Dodgers. We call that a spit take in the old biz. Yeah, oh, yeah, boy, yeah, that's yeah. funny. 